Hi stackers, Regan Stacker here. Well you, I don't know if you've uh, obviously looked at the prelude to the last sovereign. Now you're probably saying, this isn't the last sovereign. Well, I come up, I've come up with a theory, uh, backed by a bit of history, but let's take the theory. The economy collapses, the dollar is worthless, the pound is worthless. Stock market crashes, bond market crashes, gold and silver spike, you know, gold spikes two, three times on the price what it is now. Who, if the dollar's worth nothing and the pound's worth nothing, who can buy sovereigns? Will the mint want to produce sovereigns at exorbitant prices? People can't even afford to buy them at the present price. So imagine if they were a thousand pound, two thousand pound plus. So I'm doing this on the fact that this could be the last sovereign. So, uh, what what's your thoughts? I mean, if gold spiked like it did in 2011 to like nineteen hundred dollars over a thousand pounds, well, it's virtually over a thousand pounds now. And the dollar's a bit lagging behind, but let's take a look at this 2019 sovereign. Nothing really special about this sovereign. If you run in a mill sovereign, 2019. There's a wicked witch of the West. Now this could, one way or the other, could be worth money. The Queen pops her clogs, it's going to be worth money. But I think the financial collapse is coming sooner rather than later. The market is so jittery at the moment. And if you haven't got gold or silver, you're in deep trouble. So get out there and get some gold and silver. And if you're looking for an investment, how about the 2019 sovereign? It could be the last sovereign. Could very well be the last sovereign. So. Let me know your thoughts. Please uh, click the bell button to get notifications of new videos that are coming out. And uh, subscribe to my channel. Let's see what happens. Regal Stacker, out.